okay so students uh, today uh, i'm starting now next question okay so what do we have here prove that cos x is equal 22 degree and cot is equal 68 degree equals to sin is equal 22 degree plus sin is equal 68 degree plus cot is equal 68 degree so many times this question has appeared in the mathematics examination okay so this is also one of the very important questions uh, from this chapter so dear students uh, you can watch this video carefully how to solve this question as i told already already yet first of all the main target to continue the question is you have to replace this 68 degree into 22 degree or 22 degree can be replaced into 68 degree so cot is square 90 minus 22 okay so what you have cosec is square 22 degree cot 90 minus theta it becomes tan theta you know the formula cot 90 minus theta it becomes tan theta okay so now we have the formula cosec theta equals to 1 by sin theta tan theta sin square theta upon cos square theta as we know the formula tan theta equals to sin theta by cos theta okay so we cancel this one what you got 1 by cos square 22 so 1 by cos means almost sec square 22 degree clear so when we solve the lhs we got the simplest form as sec square 22 degree okay now when you try this rhs try to bring sec square 22 degree okay so now you can see here rhs so we have sin square 22 degree sin square 68 degree and cot square 68 degree okay so sin square 22 degree okay you have plus okay plus you change this 68 degree 90 minus 22 degree okay and change this 68 degree cot is square 90 minus 22 degree clear okay so what you get sin is square 22 degree plus sin 90 minus theta cos theta and cot 90 minus theta tan theta okay so hope you are understanding this 68 you replace by 90 minus 22 okay and this 68 90 minus 22 so after converting this 68 degree into 20 degree you just go to the formula sin 90 minus theta cos theta cot 90 minus theta tan theta okay so after that now you just see the formula you have sin square 22 degree plus cos square 22 degree that means which formula sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to almost 1 you just write it 1 okay plus you have your 10 square 22 degree now you have again another formula 1 plus 10 square theta we have formula sec square theta sec square 22 degree so it is clear from lhs you got it uh, sec square 22 and from rhs you got it sec square 22 so it is very clear lhs equals to rhs root clear Okay, now uh, let's just see the next question. Uh, these questions are the very important questions. Uh, it has uh, came in many times in mathematics board examination. So hope you are understanding. So here we have sine seventeen degree equals to x by y. Okay, so 
now with this value we are supposed to prove 617 minus sin 73 as x square divided by y root over y square minus x square okay so how you can proceed the question sin 17 is given as x by y so you directly find the value of cos 17 okay so if the question gives the value of cos 17 so you are supposed to find sin 17 but in this case sin 17 value is given as x by y you first of all find cos 17 okay so we know the formula cos theta equals to 1 minus sin square theta so in terms of theta i am writing the 17 degree because 17 degrees in in the place of theta so you'll have sin 17 so sin 17 the value of sin 17 is x by y all is square okay x square y square i think you are understanding this one is squaring okay you get the lcm okay you separate the root now this uh, uh, root of uh, root is cancelled by the square so finally what will get the value of cos 17 cos 17 equals to root over y square minus s square divided by y okay so the first main attempt to proceed the question is whenever the question has given that the sin 17 the value of sin 17 you directly find the value of cos 17 first of all okay if the question has given the value of cos 17 you find sin 17 okay that is the first step now how you can prove it let's see okay so it is clear that here the question has given as 17 degree and here 73 degree so what you do first of all you just change this 73 degree 90 minus 17 degree clear okay then what you do sec 17 degree sine 90 minus theta it becomes cos theta that means cos 17 degree clear so we can see the value of cos 17 degree as root over y square minus s square by y but we don't have the value of 617 so what you do you just use the formula and convert this 617 degree to cos 17 degree because we know the formula sec theta equals to 1 by cos theta so cos 17 degree clear you just find the lcm okay it becomes cos square 17 degree clear so cos 17 you just uh, use the value root over y square minus s square divided by y 1 minus root over y square minus s square by y you get the whole square over here and okay let's uh, solve here okay so what you have 1 minus look here this square will be cancelled with the root so you'll get y square minus s square and y is, will multiply with the square okay y square you have your root of word y square minus s square by y clear okay now in the denominator you have this one and in the numerator what you have y square minus now you you can clearly see okay i'm just solving directly okay minus minus you get plus so y square y square is cancelled and you can cancel this y and this y okay so finally what you get uh, the remain s square and this y and it will be multiplied with this one root over y square minus s square so it is very clear that 617 degree minus 73 degree how we have proceed this one first of all we convert it uh, we change the 73 degree into 17 degree then we find uh, just kind of uh, change the formula 6 theta equals to 1 by cos theta now now we can use the for value okay because we have converted all the questions into 
cos 17 degree okay and this simplification you know easily okay so it is uh, proved okay equals to rhs proved clear okay you can see here clearly Okay, you just see clearly okay now just see next question question number okay this question uh, I think it has came in 2012 not the mid 2012 okay so it is clear given here sin a plus b by 2 plus cos b plus c by 2 equals to cos c by 2 plus sin a by 2 okay uh, as we know so here we have triangle okay this is the angle a b and c if we add these three angles of a triangle it becomes 180 degree okay so it is very clear that in any triangle for say example in triangle abc we know that the sum of the three angles of a triangle becomes two right angles which equals to 180 degree okay now if we divide both the side by 2 what we get a by 2 plus b by 2 plus c by 2 equals to how much 90 degree clear okay so now you can see here a by 2 plus b by 2 equals to 90 minus c by 2 okay so if you take the LCM, what will you get? A plus B by 2 equals to 90 minus C by 2. I think you are clear. In the similar manner, in the similar way, way, B plus C by 2 can be written as 90 minus A by 2. Okay. 90, uh, okay, I think this one has understood in any triangle a plus b plus c equals to 180 degree now if we divide uh, 2 to the both the sides okay so you will get a plus b by 2 equals to 90 minus c by 2 in this way okay this is the uh, process how it become okay now let's come to lhs sine a plus b by 2 plus cos b by b plus c by 2 okay so sine a plus b by 2 a plus b by 2 can be written as 90 minus c by 2 90 minus c by 2 clear plus cos b plus c by 2 b plus c by 2 can be written as 90 minus a by 2 90 minus a by 2 clear so we know the formula from the complementary sine 90 minus theta is cos theta and here cos 90 minus theta it becomes sine theta so after finishing this one you just go to the right hand side just check cos c by 2 plus sine a by 2 so cos c by 2 plus sine a by 2 so finally, LHS equals to RHS root. Okay. You can see there. Okay. So now this question. Okay, so it may come in question uh, max one max also or uh, two max also. Okay, so we have here find the value of sine four theta equals to uh, cos five theta. I think uh, find the value of theta. Okay, you are find the value of theta. Okay, you are supposed to find the value of theta if sine four theta. So it is given here sine 4 theta equals to cos 5 theta okay so it is clear it is here it is a sine theta and you have your cos theta okay so you know the formula 
cos theta to see here we know the formula that sin 90 minus theta what it becomes cos theta so sin 90 minus theta you just write this cos theta in terms of sin theta make sin theta same whatever the expression it will be in the lhs make it same as rhs okay so here you can see here sin theta sin theta same so you have 4 theta equals to 90 minus 5 theta or 4 theta plus 5 theta equals to 90 degree or 4 theta plus 5 theta it becomes 9 theta equals to 90 degree 9 over the 9 19 the 90 so you get the value of theta as 90 degree eh, sorry 10 degree okay so this is the process okay uh, same type of question okay so you have here sec theta equals to cosec phi okay this is also angle trigonometric angle but it is uh, named as phi phi so look here sec theta equals to cosec phi so you are supposed to find the value of sine theta plus phi okay so first of all what you do sec theta cosec theta same process okay you have to make this identical that means you have to change this cosec theta in terms of sec theta so sec 90 minus 5 so it is clear theta equals to sec sec is cancelled 90 degree minus 5 okay so theta you just bring this phi into lhs okay so theta plus phi equals to 90 degree okay so theta plus phi when you add this one it becomes 90 degree now what you can do sine theta plus phi so you just write 90 degree in place of theta plus phi it becomes one okay uh, so students hope you have understood uh what do you uh, the real concept of complementary angles the first one thing i would like to say that complementary angles means when two angles of any triangle if we add it becomes 90 degree so if the question has says that alpha plus beta is 90 degree then it is very clear that alpha equals to 90 minus beta okay in the similar manner it, the question may come in terms of a plus b equals to 90 degree so whenever the question gives you if a and b are the two complementary angles then you must know a plus b equals to 90 degree okay uh, so students uh, so this was the few uh, questions uh, which are already in the board examinations okay so hope this video will help you to understand and find a good process or find a better way to go through this uh, questions related to complementary angles okay thank you